Hello, and welcome to the very first episode of the Leadership Breakdown Podcast. I'm your host, Kylie Ota, and I'm here to kick off this episode with you by tackling something I believe to my very core. Leadership today is broken, and this podcast is here to change that. And I chose the title Leadership Breakdown to address the breakdown of leadership that's happening in, you know, over the last few years. And I want to use this podcast to address those breakdowns while also breaking down key leadership principles and strategies that um, will help you in your leadership growth. So If you are a leader right now, or you are someone who desires to grow in your leadership development, then this podcast is for you. So in this episode and all of the ones to come, we're going to set a new standard for leadership, one that actually serves people and brings out the best in them. And so if you are ready to question like everything you ever thought or everything you ever known about leadership and explore what's possible, then you're in the right place. So let's just begin in the beginning. I'm going to give you a little bit of background about me and why I'm talking about leadership now. So I've spent about 20 years or so leading teams and managing major projects in the oil and gas industry and a lot in the entrepreneurial industry where you know stakes are high and there's no real margin for error. And I've seen leadership done well, but I've also seen it go completely off the rails. And you know, these um, traditional models that we're taught, face it, they don't always work. And honestly, they often leave people feeling burnt out, frustrated and disconnected from their purpose. And, you know, watching leadership play out recently on the world stage in the 2024 uh, U.S. presidential election, it's something that just could not be ignored anymore. And just people relying on outdated ideas. And I just felt like it was time to really shake things up, you know? So I created this podcast to challenge those conventional models and really break down what leadership needs to be and look like today because it's about more than authority or control and it's um, really about connection, resilience, and impact. And look, I know there's no shortage of leadership advice out here, but you know the thing is most of it was built on these outdated models that tell you you know you got to be the strongest, you got to be the loudest and you know brute strength. And what that doesn't tell you is right, we're burning people out. We're creating more disconnect than trust. And I've seen this play out over and over in my 20 years of project management and other various roles of leadership that I've held. And I can tell you firsthand, something has to change. So anyway, that's why I created this podcast and we're going to be breaking it all down, the tough truths, the real challenges. And I'm a practical person, so practical steps to lead in a way that's actually like sustainable, something you guys can actually do and impactful, having impact. Because it's not about quick fixes or playing a role. Um, We're really defining the leadership and bringing out the best in ourselves and those in our sphere of influence. So if you want to go beyond the surface and get real about what it really means, to lead with purpose, then you're in the right place. If not, then, you know, but if you want to just stick with me and, you know, we're going to be talking all about, all about leadership. And the moment I really realized that traditional leadership was not cutting it for me, it was during this last election season, because everywhere you look, right, social media, at the office, or even on anywhere like the grocery store, people were all talking about leadership and, and how leadership has been failing our country. And I felt like a lot of it was driven by fear, by control, and by who could talk the loudest or had the most money, you know? And it is like, is this what leadership has really come to? And for me, it just felt off. 
And after spending 20 years in leadership project management positions, um, I just realized that when decisions mattered and stakes are high, when we can't really follow that traditional playbook, right? Authority, control, how to stay tough under pressure. And of course, like, I mean, I did it. It worked sometimes. But for me, there was always something missing. I've personally experienced burnout and I've been frustrated. And I've seen the way people just went through the motions without feeling connected to the work we are doing or even to each other. And, you know, just watching this election unfold really brought that to the surface for me. And it made me realize leadership needs a new playbook. Am I right? And it really has to be about something more, you know, talking connection, resilience, and actually making a positive impact. So basically, that's why I started this podcast. I wanted to create a space where we could rethink leadership together, you know, break away from the old rules and, you know, find a way to lead that brings out the best in people, in ourselves, in others. And anyway, that's what I'm here for. So just get into it, right? And anyway, this podcast isn't going to teach you how to be the boss. We're going to be talking about leading with integrity, courage, and purpose. It's about finding a leadership style that is true to you, um, one that aligns with your personality and your values. Because real leadership isn't this one size fits all kind of thing. It's really unique to who you are and how you connect with others. And um, in each episode, we're going to be taking a look at all of these outdated ideas about leadership and the different strategies. You know, there's so many myths and old rules that I feel are holding people back. And I want to break those down, leadership breakdown, and offer you, you know, real practical strategies to lead in a way that is authentic to you, your personality and your strengths. Because it's, it, it really, it's not about title, authority, status. I'm a firm believer in impact and connection. So if you're ready to stop trying to beat the boss and really learn your leadership style and one that feels true to you, then, you know, I'm just telling you, you're in the right place. And, you know, when we're talking about that, leadership isn't about power. It's about creating real change and connection. And, you know, for me, it was, um, you know, having the resiliency to go through what I went through in the oil and gas industry, working in a male dominated environment and, being resilient there and having to rely on my empathetic skills to really get to the heart of what my people were facing, what they were, you know, doing in the workplace. Because a lot of times when we, we think we're doing a good job, but we're out of touch with our, with the people who are around us, it really, it really doesn't make a difference. And we also have to find the courage to speak up for what is right, what we believe is right. And we have to really own the audacity of our own voice. And again, it's more than just titles or authority when we're talking about leadership. It's how can you be resilient? Like how can you withstand all the blows, right? Because when you're making these decisions, People are going to question you and you have to have the strength and the tenacity and the resilience to weather through what all the naysayers are going to say about your decision, right? We know about, um, you know, the Monday morning quarterback, everyone's second guessing your decisions. You have to have the resilience to get through all of that and the empathy to not want to lash out at your opposers and We've seen a lot of that in like the days leading up to the election and especially in the days after the election. There, there's so 
many emotions that are being thrown around. And we have to be, if we want to be a leader, we have to be empathetic to those who don't share our opinions, don't share the same values that we have, and the courage to stand up for our own values. Now, this is definitely not a political podcast by any means. Um, I'm just using our current um, situation of leadership in the United States to kind of address why I thought this podcast was very timely and appropriate. So I just want to give people a fresh perspective on leadership and how we can avoid the breakdown of leadership that's happening, not only in the United States, but what I see is possibly a something that's global, right? So if you are ready to lead differently, then this podcast will give you the tools that you need. So you'll be seeing some solo episodes with just me and my insights and how I'm breaking leadership down. And then I'm also going to be bringing on people who have more experience than me in certain areas. And together, the solo episodes and the guest episodes are going to give you actionable strategies. And, you know, if you've listened to my former podcast, there was a lot of storytelling on that because I wanted people to understand burnout and and things of that nature and people's personal stories about that. Not that we're not going to get into personal stories about leadership on this podcast, but I want everyone to walk away with, you know, actionable strategies that you can apply in real time to real situations that you're going through as a leader in the corporate space or in entrepreneurship. So again, you're going to have concrete takeaways that you can apply immediately. And also, this isn't about playing by the rules. It's about creating leadership that lasts. Is I'm really about creating an impact that lasts generations. I have a program called Legacy of Leaders, and I want to make sure that leaders have created a legacy that they can leave behind. Because like the Bible said, right, a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. And if we're building, even say if we're working for a corporation, I speak and work with primarily entrepreneurs, but if you're still working in the corporate space and you're not building something that you want to pass on to your children, now you're not necessarily going to pass down a company if you're working in someone else's company, but what work ethics are we passing down to the next generation? What, you know, are we creating, are we teaching them resilience? Are we teaching them empathy? Are we teaching them, you know, these good habits that we want them to have so that when they move on and they choose a career path or some way that they're going to be earning an income, what are these habits and and tools that they're going to take with them as they go and they grow, right? Train up a child in the way that he should go. And when he's old, he will not depart from it. So that's, I'm a big proponent of legacy because I believe that legacy, that the legacy that we create is going to impact generations. And I want my work to leave an impact on the world. And that's why... I'm creating this podcast, the Leadership Breakdown Podcast, and giving people in leadership tools and insights that they can take and really grow more in their personal leadership. And when I'm talking about personal leadership, about leading ourselves. And I have a mentor that talks a lot about, you know, she who leads herself and how do we lead ourselves? Because if we're not leading ourselves first, how can we lead? others, right? So anyway, if any of this resonates with you, I want to invite you to subscribe, follow, share this podcast, share this episode with anyone who's ready for some real talk on leadership. And, you know, um, in the show notes, you're going to see my social media, uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and 
I want you guys to stay connected. If leadership is something that you want to talk about, this is the place and we'll be talking all about it on all of my uh, platforms. So check the show notes. If you like this, give me a follow and we can talk all about leadership all day, every day. <laughs> and, you know, I am, um, I will be talking a lot about personality styles. I have created my own personality quiz that kind of merges the disc, right? If you're in any kind of leadership position, you've either heard of or taken your disc assessment. So we'd be talking about the disc. Uh, we'll be talking about like Myers-Briggs because there's so many different personality based um, assessments out there. And I thought they were all valid and I kind of mushed them together to create my own leadership personality assessment. And we'll be talking about those as we go along in this conversation, in this journey. And I want to talk about it with you. I want to create a community who understands these concepts. I want to create a community who, you know, um, anyway, back to the leaders, um, the assessments. I am an ENFP in the Myers-Briggs and I'm an ID in the DISC. And all that being said, right, the I, the E, <laughs> I love community and I like talking to people. And honestly, I don't think I could have a podcast if I didn't have any guest episodes. And that's actually why I started podcasting in the first place when I started my first podcast, which is the Burnt Out Entrepreneur Podcast. I honestly just wanted to have honest conversations with other entrepreneurs in the business who have also experienced burnout. And I realized that that was my bent because I was doing Facebook Lives or live streams and talking to myself. So even this solo episode is a bit hard for me. I love guest episodes and you're going to be hearing me interact with some of the guests that are going to be coming on. And it's, I'll just, it's going to be way more fun than listening to me talk to you. <laughs> and I, because I just love interacting with people. So that being said, so I don't feel like I'm talking to myself. I would love for you, again, to follow me on social media. I'm going to be posting clips about each episode. I would love for you to comment so we can have a back and forth on these leadership topics, on these leadership principles, strategies, all of that, because I want to hear from you. I want to hear from the audience and let me know if I'm getting you. Let me know what topics you guys want to hear next, because leadership has a broad range of topics that we can cover. And I'm just choosing the stuff that's top of mind on my heart, mind, and soul right now in this, in this season. But as this podcast evolves, I really want to hear from you. So find me on social media, connect with me, um, you know, join the groups so we can have discussions on leadership because this is what I, I would love to talk to you about. So anyway, Thank you for listening to this inaugural episode of the Leadership Breakdown Podcast. And in the next episode coming up, we're going to be talking about um, rethinking traditional leadership models. Because, right, why not start there? So, this is your invitation to lead with courage, integrity, and impact. And if these values sound good to you. I would love to you to continue listening and joining me on this journey to redefining leadership. So again, this is another episode of the Leadership Breakdown Podcast. I'm your host, Kali Ota, and I will see you next time. Bye.